Uh, so I, I could start by getting your thoughts, your reaction to the move by the Swiss National Bank saying that effectively they're willing to buy unlimited amounts of foreign currency to bring to, to stop their own currency from strengthening. Can you just talk to me a little bit about the implications from that uh, for the for the currency markets and and the risks of this move? Well, what what we're seeing with that is that the Swiss franc has been appreciating for several months and months and months to levels that make it literally impossible for Swiss industry to survive. And I think it's a good reminder for those of us who have forgotten what Europe was like before we had the euro that um, if you have these small currencies, it becomes unmanageable in a single European market. It means that currency developments for some strong currencies are just appreciating it beyond the roof and that would, is what would happen to Germany if we wouldn't have the euro today. All right well you know speaking of the euro we have had eurozone growth figures coming in uh, pretty much unchanged at 0.2 percent though household consumption is also down. I mean, right now we have slower trade growth, tougher bank lending and more fiscal austerity so what are the implications for growth in the next few months, presumably it's going to weigh on, on any sort of economic expansion in the Eurozone. Yes, it does. And I think what we're also seeing here is that the, the, the austerity-driven programs that are pretty much imposed on Europe from coming from Berlin and Germany are now really starting to slow down growth and um, uh, hinder the re the, the return to some soundness in public finances as well. So um, I think um, it's a very narrow balance one has to find. On the one hand, one make, needs to make sure that especially highly indebted countries are not going further into debt, while at the same time other countries need to do more to stimulate growth in the euro area, and that first of all needs to be Germany. Well, okay, let me, let me then ask you about Italy specifically, the Parliament debating their austerity package today, scaling back, watering down some fiscal reforms. A very brief response from you, from you on how much more difficult it's going to be to, to regain investor confidence in the country. Well, Italy, what we have seen in Italy over the last uh, few months, two months, is actually very much the dilemma of the governance of the euro area. 